مسجد ابن حجر العسقلاني اسناده صحيح كلهم من رجال البخاري ايش قال عن ابن عباس انه كان يقراها افلم يتبين يعني افلم ييأس ويقول مين عبد الله بن عباس يقول كتبها الكاتب وهو شو وهو ناس كان نعسان يعني... كاتب القرآن تحريف ولا مو تحريف Brother David here is an Arabic speaker from Syria native Arabic speaker and he did an awesome job and I'm just jumping in to confirm what he said so you will get confirmation from a secondary person in this case me and he is correct and he provided crystal clear proof from a very authentic source by Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani that the scribe made a huge error simply because the scribe was sleepy here is the hadith from Fath al-Bari by Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani al-Masdar the source and the isnad right the isnad is sahih like the rijal like the men of al-Bukhari right very very authentic عن ابن عباس ترجمان القرآن the translator of the Quran حبر الأمة the ink of the Ummah himself the cousin of Muhammad he is the one mentioning it he says it used to be read like أفلم يتبيني يعني أفلم ييأسي so the right word should have been يتبيني or يتبين instead of ييأسي and the reason for that is ويقول the reason for that is that the scribe, he wrote this while he was sleepy. One of the reasons why we do not have heaps of documented evidence was because most people were asleep at night. Remember, this is the 7th century. So the scribe of Muhammad, who wrote the Quran for Muhammad, let's say on animal skin or bones or stones, because... Back in the old days, that's how they used to write the ayahs down. He wrote this while he was sleepy. So here is the one million dollar question. Where was Allah? Where was Allah hiding to protect the Quran from corruption by a Muslim scribe who was way too tired? Maybe uh, Allah should have sent Jibreel to give the scribe some Red Bull or drink some coffee, right? Get some uh, caffeine in, in his system to focus and not get tired. Ya Muslimin, wake up. Your Quran got corrupted by a sleepy scribe, according to Ibn Abbas. Okay, okay, let's back up a minute. Have you ever heard a Muslim claim that the Bible is corrupt? And maybe they'll even say, it's not me saying that, it's your scholars saying that. It's your Christian scholars who say that the Bible is corrupt. I'm not saying the Bible is corrupt. I'm not saying that. Pass me the book, that, that one. Uh, no, lying down, lying down. You, you nearly, yeah. The Christian scholars are saying this, here. Yeah. This is the words of your scholars, Christian scholars. I want to introduce you to a hadith which has an authentic chain of narration in which it has the same narrators that Al-Bukhari used in his hadith collection. In the discussion I played earlier, a brother in the Lord who is an ex-Muslim named David who makes excellent videos and live streams which I'll link his channel in the description and I ask that even if you don't understand Arabic please support and subscribe to this brother's channel and pray for his ministry. In that clip, he referenced this hadith in which Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, whom Muhammad prayed over and asked Allah to give him wisdom. Whoever wants to see knowledge, let him go to Abdullah ibn Abbas. The one who is called the scholar of the Muslim world. It's very important to note because in this hadith, he exposes the corruption in the Quran. That's right. 
the biggest Muslim scholar after Muhammad himself, claimed that the Quran, as it is written today, contains textual corruption. There are many references that narrate this hadith, and you can even find it in various commentaries as well. For this video, I'll just focus on that one hadith said it earlier by our brother David. What Ibn Abbas, the scholar of the Muslim world, says that the verse in the Quran in chapter 13, verse 31, which says, Have they not despaired? In which the larger context is asking the believers, the Muslims, if they haven't despaired or lost hope, that if Allah wanted to, he could have guided all of mankind. Ibn Abbas says that the word despair is incorrect. The word should be made clear, as in, has it not been made clear to the believers that if Allah wanted to, he could have guided all of mankind? And Ibn Abbas tells us how this corruption found its way into the Quran. The scribe, this unknown scribe, unnamed scribe, one might even say anonymous. The authors of all four Gospels are anonymous. This anonymous scribe that wrote the Quran was sleepy. According to Ibn Abbas, the scholar of the Muslim nation, the cousin of Muhammad himself, tells us that the Quran, as it is written today, contains textual corruption. Thanks for watching the video, and God bless you all. And if you're a Muslim watching the video today, we pray that the true God will guide you to His Word, which is not corrupt, the Bible.